Hey guys, today I'll be showing you the different ways to use proxies from Proxy Empire. So the first way is the classic, which is using the multiport feature, where you can use any port between 9000 and 11,099 for HTTP and 9000 to 9999 for SOX5, where each port is a separate sticky session, and it's it's very simple to do. All you need to do is select your targeting settings. Here I'm going to be using a United States proxy. So I, all I need to do is copy these details or you can take the proxy from here and put it in my software of choice. Today I'll be using Multilogin because it's my favorite anti-detect browser. So I just need to copy paste the details and click the check proxy button. To ensure that everything is working correctly and let's say I want to change the IP I can just change the port number by increasing it with one or two or three and so on and I will receive a new IP so the other way to work with our proxies is by using a single port so instead of changing the proc the port number I will actually be changing the session ID. So once you click on the single port feature, you will notice that the port changed to 5000. So you will always be using port 5000, okay? So if I don't click on the sticky session button, I will be getting a new IP on every request. So let me show you how that looks like. So basically every time we make a new request, we'll get a new IP without changing the port or anything else. As you can see, every time we make a test connection, we get a new IP. And the third way to use our proxies is using the sticky session feature in combination with our single port feature, which will actually allow you to still use just port 5000, but when you actually want to change your IP, you can just change the session ID. Here we give you an example of one such session ID, or you can export from the list below up to 3000 different session IDs. So, for example, I will copy paste those details now. Okay. And the password. Okay. So now you can see the IP that we received. So let's say we want to try a different session ID. What we can do is simply copy one of the other lines. Alternatively, uh, you can actually generate your own session IDs uh, as long as they're eight characters long and use alphanumeric characters, meaning either letters or numbers. You cannot use special characters. In the session ID, so let me show you an example of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this way you can also basically come up with your own session IDs if it, that is more convenient for your usage. And if you have any further questions, please contact our customer support team, they will be happy to help you.